Hey guys, welcome back to another recap. Today I made $245 trading four stocks. So without further ado, let's get started. The very first trade I took was on MDGS and I bought this at $4.16. Um, so typically I like buying around support, but my thinking around this stock was there was a key level of resistance right here. Um, you see how this there's a candlestick here, here, and here bouncing off this 437 area uh, during pre-market. <clears throat> so my thinking was that uh, we were going to get a second three-minute candle to make a new high, which you know we did, but I anticipated it to go to this resistance point, which is where I initially wanted to sell. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't. It was just by that much, it, it, it didn't reach, and it came down, and I got stopped out. But uh, my loss was very small for just uh, over twenty dollars. <clears throat> um, and then my second trade was where I made the bulk of my money, which was XRF. I took quite a few trades um, where I made bulk of my money was buying four hundred shares at two twenty eight. And the reason why I did it was because this two twenty area was a very key level of support on the daily chart. If you go to the daily chart right here, let me go ahead and. Zoom in for you guys. Um, so you could see this line uh, makes up certain support and resistance levels historically. Uh, there's this candlestick here on January 29th where it got rejected. And obviously um, if it's above that level then resistance becomes support. And if we go back further there's a lot of days where it's bouncing off the 220 area and it's validated as key support. Um, if you ex extend it this way, also, let me, there we go. It also bounced off May 23rd of 2019. But um, yeah, that's why I took the trade here and um, I sold most of it around um well actually it looks like i sold all of it at 261 and the reason being was because we were approaching <coughs> uh, this level of resistance at the 275 area and so i just took my profit and was okay with it um, i actually got back in uh, again buying 100 shares here because there was this mini support level at the 260 area by this three minute candlestick um or sorry, I should say this was a resistance for this candlestick, support for uh, this candlestick. And so that's why I decided to get in. But um, I, I there was a bit of choppiness during real time. I got stopped out. But if I just held through it, it actually did break $3. Um, and then I, I took a couple more trades, um, particularly here. You know, I can draw a key level of support here because there was four three minute candlesticks bouncing off this 230 level and um you know i got in about 600 shares here and eventually sold majority of my position here um you know making this overall profit over well over 200 dollars um i also took a trade on caper capr i lost a bit of money let me zoom in So you guys have to forgive my throat. Um, it's a bit dry, so. Uh, so I bought 400 shares around 713. Um, and the reason why I did it was because it was approaching this support level. And my thinking was that if it could hold up, it could possibly break this resistance. And then if not make new highs, at the very least get to the um days high to double top and i would have sold right there but unfortunately it didn't work out and i just stopped out for a small loss not a big deal so and uh i was pretty much done for the morning um but then towards the afternoon uh as you could see it's uh market close well actually i don't have a time around here but it, it is market close and uh there was a stock apdn that i took a trade on uh, I only took 40 shares because I only had that much cash value left for today. Um, 
my initial thinking was as it was approaching this level around the 775 area i knew this was a very very key support level on the daily chart if you go to the daily chart uh, you could see that on this candlestick this candlestick and you can even go back further also this candlestick so there's three candlesticks that were served as resistance on the 775 area and so I knew when we were above that and we were going to reapproach it um, that that was going to serve as a very good validated level of support so my initial thinking was actually actually just to buy it and hold it for a swing trade um, I guess hindsight is probably what I should have done because it obviously might gap up higher tomorrow but I didn't anticipate this to, to go up as high as it did um, and so it actually got halted and during uh, post market I just decided to sell the 40 shares for a, for a good $76 and as you can see it's coming back down now but um, I, I sold around this area because I saw the $10 level as a, um, a level of resistance which it did initially break and I actually thought it was going to gap higher but um, my uh, intuition looks like it was correct and it was a good place to sell all in all so exactly I sold at uh, 9.775 so all in all $245 profit not a bad day um, and I will see you guys again next time for another day trade recap or a swing trade recap if I decide to take a um, another trade I, I actually do have a couple of long-term positions on Amazon Google and uh, WRTC they're not necessarily swing trades but um, I've been holding them for quite a while now and um, just gonna uh, hold out my investment to see uh, a good uh, profit in the uh, long-term future so we'll see how that goes but other than that thanks guys for watching my video uh, please hit the like button subscribe to my uh, channel if you're new and uh, I hope you guys gained a bit of insight on uh, day trading and if you have any questions please leave them down on the comments below and uh, yep till next time take care bye <music>